greener planet, moving towards a bioeconomy. Not too long ago, most people lived on farms. They worked for many hours, growing their own food, making their own clothing, and collecting firewood to warm their houses. People depended on the land and their local community. As time went on, we started living in bigger communities and we began inventing more things that made our lives easier. From windmills, to electricity, cars and washing machines. Fast forward to now and things are very different. Lots of us now live in busy cities and we have huge machines inside factories that make most of the things we use. From bread to phones, medicine to toys, even heating and electricity. This is the way we make most of the things we buy and use today. The problem is, many of these machines and factories are powered by and make things from fossil fuels. But what are fossil fuels? Just like a fossil, fossil fuels are the remains of dead animals and plants from millions and millions of years ago before dinosaurs were even around. These small dead animals and plants sank into the mud, rock and to the bottom of the ocean where they rotted under the pressure and heat of the sand, clay and other minerals. Over millions of years, fossil fuels such as crude oil, coal and natural gas have been created. When we discovered these, we started to pump or mine them out the ground. We now send them to different factories to make the things you see and use every day. Unfortunately, to make sure we have all the things we want and rely on, to keep our homes warm and to keep the shelves of supermarkets stocked, we are quickly using all the Earth's fossil fuels up. Fossil fuels also release nasty pollutants into the air when we use them, which are bad for our health and the planet. However, it doesn't have to be this way. By changing the way we make and do things, we can become sustainable. Being sustainable means doing things in a way that doesn't damage the planet. It means using things that are renewable, that won't run out, instead of those that will, like fossil fuels. One way to do this is to move towards a bioeconomy. But what does bioeconomy mean? Well, bio means any living thing, like plants and animals, whereas an economy is the making, using, buying and selling of stuff. The bioeconomy then is using renewable living things, like plants and animals, to make the stuff we buy and sell, instead of relying on fossil fuels. Scientists are working really hard to develop these alternatives. What are some examples of bioeconomy, I hear you say? Bamboo is an amazing plant that can be grown and made into lots of different things, such as clothes, toys, knives and forks, and toothbrushes. We can also make clothes out of coffee ground waste. Unlike plastic, which is made from fossil fuels, both bamboo and coffee grounds come from a plant. That means that when they go back into the environment, they don't cause harm to the planet because they can easily rot or decompose. Because of this, we can turn them into compost, using them to help more things grow. Here's another example. Did you know, instead of throwing food waste away, they can be collected and processed in a factory to make biogas, which can provide heat or electricity. There's even a village that uses dog poo, yes, dog poo, to power its street lights. Currently, we are very wasteful and follow what is known as a linear economy, where we take, make, use and dispose of our things. However, the bioeconomy is what we call a circular economy. A circular economy is not wasteful and instead we take, make, use and recycle our things. By moving towards a bioeconomy, we can help look after the planet by reducing waste, pollution and the use of fossil fuels, all whilst creating new jobs. Who knows, maybe you'll come up with the next big idea to help protect our planet and nature.